if you look at Narantis, you folks have your roots in OpenStack now, which is part of Linux Foundation umbrella itself. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it spans, you know, the way infrastructure, bare metal, and yep. then the modern Kubernetes workloads. Yep. Because of that deep experience and expertise, as organizations, you know, also there are only so many GPUs in the world, yeah. you know, so they're also trying to scale, optimize, yeah. make it more efficient. Uh, what are some of the pain points that you're seeing where companies run into? Because everybody wants to get on AI bandwagon, but I mean, excitement is there, but then yeah. the challenge starts. So how is Corden or other building blocks that Mirantis has built yeah. are going to help them? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, I, so we, we've certainly with, you know, with OpenStack, you know, in general, we've seen a, a sort of, a, you know, a reemergence of uh, or a renewed interest in private cloud um, that, you know, it, it's both a, an alternative, you know, for virtualization at large scale. Um, but it's, you know, it's obviously an important, you know, private cloud technology. We're seeing, you know, repatriation. We see a lot of, you know, challenges around sovereignty and stuff so that that's driven that and so you know the the hybrid cloud has become you know i won't say the new normal because we talked about hybrid cloud for forever but it, it is now a, it is now a brutal reality and it brings with it challenges so having technologies uh, the range of technologies that we do and the range of expertise that we do and having deployed all of these technologies at incredible scale and you know and having the services capability to be able to help co pro uh, help customers solution and solve specific business problems we're very well positioned to be able to help customers to put together a strategy and a, and a, a journey of you know, where they are today and where they need to go. Um, we've introduced a, uh, a maturity model for AI to help customers to understand, which is available on our website, you know, a bunch of simple questions, but um, help customers to understand where they are in this journey of, you know, of, of preparing for the future of AI. Um, you know, that, that's something that, you know, we're, we're seeing a lot of interest in because quite frankly, a lot of organizations don't even know the questions to ask there. Um, but as we look at, you know, the transitions people are making and they, they, they look at, you know, how they think about, as you mentioned, you know, from bare metal to all the way up the stack to, you know, the LLM models. And this is a, you know, a phrase that we've adopted is from metal to model. Um, is is we're able to help customers look at the entirety of that stack and be able to say, look, from bare metal, from bare bones, all the way up through the different layers of you know infrastructure as a service, GPU pass, um, AI pass or Neo pass as you know as as we're phrasing it now, all the way up to the delivery of those you know LLM models, the inference, the training, etc we're able to help customers to both you know, plan for and map out a path forward, map out the right technologies for them, but ensuring that they're doing that without a vendor agenda in place, that they are maintaining both you know, the opportunity to have a fast on-ramp, but to have an, an exit if they you know, need to as well. Giving customers choice, reducing risk, and ensuring we're focusing customers on how they can gain greater efficiency and drive their businesses forward, rather than looking at you know, uh, you know, uh, how do we you know how do we make ourselves, how do we organize ourselves around the available technology? So because we have that breadth of expertise, we're able to you know to help customers on that on that path as well.